but we picked up a quick nearly half of an inch of rain wow. in Sacramento and I think we're going to see more tomorrow. Probably more in that three quarter of an inch to maybe an inch of rain in some spots tomorrow. We'll have two waves of rain coming through the valley and that is just going to keep that snow going. And even though we'll see off and on rain in the valley up in the Sierra, it has now begun to snow and I don't think it's going to let up varying intensities, but I don't think it's going to let up completely until we get to Wednesday. So looking outside, we've got raindrops on the lens here in Sacramento. Still a breeze coming out of the south occasionally gusting over 25 miles an hour, but those uh, winds that came in with the cold front now backing off. So right now 44 in Sacramento, 43 in Stockton with rain coming down and we're at 50 in Modesto with the raindrops picking up 22 with some light to moderate snow falling at the south shore of Lake Tahoe. So you can see on Doppler radar, this main band is now shifting through the San Joaquin Valley. It is really coming down now in Stockton and along I-5, so that drive is going to be pretty messy right now at this lunchtime hour. Tracy getting the rain. We're getting the rain in Lodi as well, and this is all pushing to the east. Woodland, now we've got some rain, nights landing, and then all the way up towards Nevada County and back towards winter, so this is going to continue to push off to the east. It's raining right now in Roseville, and as soon as you get past, say, Auburn, and even into Auburn, the flakes begin to mix in, so good snow falling right now. Grass Valley, Colfax, we're getting the snow even in downtown Placerville. We're getting the snow in Camino. We're getting the snow snow and Pollock Pines and it's coming down heavily. Same thing around Kirkwood. I was trying to show you the camera there, Castle Peak, but uh, yeah, we are seeing some whiteout conditions there uh, towards the summit. Sonora, even at Washington Street, we're seeing some of that light snow mixing in. So what's ahead for the rest of today? Again, occasional showers in the valley, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Snow level will call it 2,000 feet, but I think after this burst this afternoon, it'll let up a little bit more late this afternoon and evening. So again, it stays snowy all night long in the high Sierra. Well, down in the valley, we'll just be in and out of the clouds for most of the night. Then we get to tomorrow morning. So let's forward this from about 3 a.m. through the commute time tomorrow. Look at this. The rain picks back up in Sacramento, stocked in the Bay Area. Look at that solid snow tomorrow morning. Rain and heavy snow expected. That snow level coming down below 2,000 feet likely. We could have a little bit of an accumulation even at about 15 to 1,800 feet, maybe a coating of inch or two. And then we get in towards midday. It breaks apart a bit, but we still just have this off and on rain coming through the valley and that snow continuing in the Sierra really doesn't let up until we get to Tuesday evening. And then that's when the snow is going to start to uh, excuse me. The rain is going to taper off in the valley as well into tonight. This is how much snow we could see about five inches in Georgetown, 10 inches in Pollock Pines, even nearly a foot at Donner Summit just from today's snow. So I'll forward this and again, this is just computer model data, but looking going into tomorrow morning, Placerville potentially sees some accumulating snow. Auburn, maybe two inches, maybe 20 inches near that in Pollock Pines. And then we're getting in that 30 to 40 inch range up towards the summit. And by the time we end things on Wednesday morning, we could potentially be seeing five to six feet of snow at the very highest elevations of the Sierra. Quite impressive. So we have uh, impact days today and tomorrow because of the heavy snow in the Sierra. It'll be windy and wet again tomorrow tomorrow, especially in the morning time. Then we dry out into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Temperatures maybe the warmest we get is upper 50s Friday. More rain coming in this weekend as well as snow. Wow.